What is up guys, so in today's video, I went on a huge, huge toy hunt for WWE figures. I went to a Walmart, a Target, and a huge flea market store. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so first location that we hit up was the Target to see if they had the new Legends line and the Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition, and they did, but they were missing Jimmy Hart, which was a bummer. But Hulk Hogan did look awesome. I was thinking of buying it but i'm gonna leave it for another time so the ultimate warrior new figure recently released very very nice detail and paint job so if you guys go to a target and you see this figure i fully recommend it so purchase it uh andre the giant was another figure that I was thinking of buying but i ultimately said no because i'm want the classic look with the singlet iron chic never owned this figure i might buy it for next time if i see it a target near me if they have it, I'll pick it up. So Hogan looks awesome. Then I went to the pop wall in Target and they had this Spider-Man that looks cool. Uh, huge Spider-Man fan. So uh, yeah, Andre the Giant, no Hogan, but it looks awesome. So yeah, that was the wall for pops. And then this side is where we went to the flea market. Um, so this guy has a store, right? And he has all these figures, Jax, 90s, 80s, uh, WCW, NWO figures. And I just showing you right now, all the figures he has it's just classic but the prices are too overpriced if i would say but you know if you're a collector and you need it and you need a figure that you want specifically i bet you can find it here it's here in new jersey by the way if anybody is from new jersey uh i would say go to this uh place and uh yeah um it's amazing so we have some past and new uh, mattel elites um, we got, as you can see, Gronk, Stone Cold, we got Andre, and I think those two packs, like the Doink the Clown and Hogan, are like the new Ringside Collectibles exclusive. We got some AEWs, um, the Legends Wall, where we have uh, Warrior, Orndorff, X-Pac, Shamrock, you know, all these legends, but I wouldn't pay that much, but we got this shelf right here, which has a lot of exclusives i think on this wall we have like championship belts t-shirts the weight belt um more over there Mem memorabilia i think that's how you pronounce it yeah so this wall is full of elites uh unrivaled figures as well classic ones like that 2013 style elite packaging we got some aew figures i was looking for the cm punk unfortunately i couldn't find it but i did find these uh defining moments Bret Hart, Mankind, and Shawn Michaels. I want that Mankind, so maybe, maybe I can pick it up for next week because the next week I'm coming back as well. Well, it's a maybe. It's still in the works. But we have some Ultimate Editions. Uh, I wanted to pick up another Randy because I want to do a custom, but I just said no because 40 bucks is too expensive. Uh, we got this wall with Pops for WWE, the Milko Mania set. We got the Bootio set as well. That Sting, uh, WCW Toy Biz set as well looks cool we got some shirts we got some jacks uh just by seeing these these are just cool uh never never once saw them in real life you know as a kid because i'm not from that era but yeah they look cool um for sure i wouldn't pick these up because you know they're old i just collect the new newer stuff but yeah so yeah so um john cena drake maverick comma and uh Goldberg, Bobby Lashley, we got some loose figures here. And then this side is when we have like the autograph stuff, like Matt Cardona. We got some Chris Jericho's Defining Moments, uh, Mark Henry, some TNA figures, and then that Zack Ryder Elite Collection. That one's just a beauty. Um, we got some title belts. We got some loose Jax figures that are like 10 bucks, 5 bucks. Uh, I wouldn't pay these, the price for any Jax. We got some teddy bears. But not nah, yeah, this. Uh, been i went through it for like a whole hour and i couldn't find no mattels but yeah uh, we got some mint cards uh we got some basic walls and then this wall it's just i wouldn't recommend it because it's just basics you know we got some sets from wwf some lucha masks more t-shirts i'm gonna show you a t-shirt that i got at the end uh we got some um loose walls for jacks and mattel basics uh, yeah, so here's like the t-shirt I found. So my mom pointed it out. It's a CM Punk 2011 t-shirt for 25 bucks. Uh, I still got to try it on because it's a medium. 
but I also got this Shawn Michaels for 15 and I got a Velveteen Dream for 15 bucks as well without the sunglasses. But, you know, it's a figure, so 15 bucks. Um, yeah, so I got those two figures and the t-shirts and then that was pretty much it for the toy hunt in the flea market. So, so when I got to the Walmart, I found the Eddie Kingston shelf warming figure. We got some Thunder Roses as well, Chris Jericho's. And then we got found a basic Dolph Ziggler and a battle pack. We found a Elite Dakota Kai and AJ Styles and some basics like Bobby Roode. We got Tamina. We got Goldberg and then more Bobbies and Taminas. And then we got a Cody Rhodes, which doesn't capture my interest. But yeah, Zaya Lee. We also have some Elite. Uh, well, uh, My bad. Some Ultimates. We got a Bianca, a Kurt. I was looking for the Bobby, but there's no Bobbies. Uh, just pure layers and angles but i was kind of thinking of picking up some kurt angles because i want to make some customs but i decided no because it's like too much money so got some plushies some john cena's macho man's ultimate warriors hulk hogan some undertakers and yeah that concludes my toy hunt in walmart so i hope you guys uh like the video and i hope you guys comment subscribe let me know what you think yeah so overall this toy hunt wasn't that bad Next week, I might be going to the same flea market again. So just to see what they have or any more t-shirts I want to pick up. So yeah. So hope you guys like the video. Please like, comment, and if you can, subscribe. It's free. And hope to see you guys in the next one. Subscribe.